And then we come down to something that a lot of people struggle with, which is the grammar of the linking words. All right. So if you have been studying the IELTS for a while, you probably noticed that um, every time you have a linking word, you have something after, right? But the, what you have after changes depending on the linking word. Okay. So for example, you have a however. You need a comma. If you start a sentence with however, you need a comma. And what do you need after that? You need subject verb. All right. So you have however, comma, subject verb. All right. Cool. Okay. And then what if you have something like in spite of? Hmm. In spite of has the same meaning as however. But what do I need after in spite of? Does it go in the beginning? Yes, it can go in the beginning, but actually it will connect clauses, not sentences. And then can I use subject verb? No, you can't. Okay. So after in spite of and after despite, you need to use a noun or verb ing. Okay. So that's what I'm trying to get you guys to think about now. Okay. So maybe if you can get any of your writings, get something, have a look and find a linking word and check what is the grammar after it. Okay. So you'll be surprised at how different they can be. Okay. Because again, as I mentioned before, okay. Um, some of these words, they are similar, but different at the same time. Okay. So probably when you, after you just started studying English, you know, you're like maybe in basic level in pre-intermediate level, you saw the word, however, and asked your teacher, hmm, what's however? And it just said, it's the same as but, and you're like, all right, that makes sense. And then you read the sentence, you, instead of saying, however, you say, but cool, that makes sense. But then you're just thinking about the meaning, but can you put, but every time? So you don't want to use, however, can you replace with, but yeah, not all the time. Okay. So one thing that can be tricky for a lot of people is the fact that this linking words, okay, sometimes they have the same meaning, but they have different grammar and they have different positions in the sentence. All right. So that's another thing that we have to think about. Okay. So we think about the meaning of the linking words. Then we move on and we think about, uh, the position where they go and we have to think about the grammar. Okay, guys, we definitely have to think about the grammar. Okay. Because that's where we make mistakes. Okay. So, uh, at least from my experience, okay, I've helped a lot of people and sometimes they will use the cohesive devices, but then they will use it in the wrong place position. Okay. And then sometimes it will be in the right place. The meaning is okay. That's what I'm trying to say, but what they write after the linking word is wrong because they didn't think about the grammar that they need. Thank you.